I want to ask you. Did I borrow money from you to marry her? Why can't you let her be? You have asked me a dozen questions at once. And I wonder how you want me to answer all. What I want you to understand is those that are unwilling to move should clear the room for those that are willing. Movement is not my fault. What does that supposed to mean? Your name is Chinua Lemoogo. Or what we've come to call Chinua. My nice name, I must admit. But seriously, I don't want you to always wait for Rachi to wage wars for you. Bah. Eh? The awards who've already been empowered to wage as men. Hello, With all due respect, I can say you're not making any sense. I have to leave you now. Can I lucky night? Eh, 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 Listen, it is going to be a sacrilege for a good looking man like you to return back to his to Lisa without a child. Hello. Childlessness is that war, and I want you to stand up as a man and solve it. Stay where you are. Don't move an inch. What are you up to? Tell me. What are you up to? If a seer will tell me that the problem is with your wife, I will look into that seer's face and tell him that he's an idiot. A blind goat. The problem is not with your wife, but with you. I want you to back off and allow someone like me to plant the seed of progress. <laughs> This is rather getting funny. As a lab, are you telling me to my face that you want to sleep with my wife? No, 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 no. Don't see it as a sacrilege, for it is not. It is only a way of ensuring the continued existence of the lineage of your fathers. Yes! Listen, I am not going to touch you anything. Get her to open, and I will step in with twins. I know you are planning to use your charms to sleep with my wife, but that will not work. That will not happen. Stay clear. Stay away from my family before you see the other side of me. Exactly what other people have been begging me to do for them, and I refused. It's what I'm pleading with this idiot, and he's walking away from me, walking out of me. <laughs> Are you not the one that they call in two weeks? Where have you been? Have you been looking for me? <laughs> Does it mean you will never change? Why are you looking at me like that? Many things have been happening in this kingdom, and I did not know. Why? Who are these invaders that have been invading in Kiruka? That have made her this big within six months? Kedumi niti Kiriba. my mother to be part of the solution and not part of the problem. Did you just call me mother? I am not your mother. Reproduce like every other normal woman and give my son a child. Then you can open that your cursed mouth and call me mother and I will answer. Why are you doing this to me? 
Chuko Lisa. Chuko Abiyama. The all-knowing God that lives beyond the earth. He's the only one that makes every woman to reproduce. And I know, I know that one day he will look upon me with mercy. And what makes you think I will wait hopelessly for the emergence of that your one day? I am an action woman, known all over this land. I need action. I know. I know you need action. It will come. It will come when it pleases the all-knowing God. Only give me some time. Please bear with me. Now you listen to me. You expired man parading himself as a woman. Go and tell whoever that sent you that Chinua came from the ties of an action woman. That you just realized you cannot destroy him. I need a woman, not a man. <laughs> You may always forget all things, but do not ever forget the family you came from. This is a family of warriors, and warriors are known for one thing. They calculate very well before they act, no matter the provocation. Do not ever go to war without proper calculation. That is when warriors fail, and when it happens, they regret all their lives. Mother, your point is very clear, but sincerely, I am lost as to the reason behind it. I am not a warrior, and I'm never ever planning to be at war with anybody. By the act of Chuku Okike, Chuku Abiyama, all descendants of warriors are warriors. They may be seeing themselves as not being warriors, just as you're doing now. But when you push them to the war, the spirit of war in them will rise. My daughter, what I'm telling you today is, do not ever allow anyone to push you to the war. Even as I still cannot make out anything from this advice of yours, mother, I will still say thank you for your advice. It is not just an advice, a very important one. Listen, people around you can just suddenly rise up and start talking to you in a way that will make you lose control and misbehave. Do not ever allow that to happen. If you can hold yourself, the same people that plan to pin you down will be the ones that will labor to see you rise. Or worry about Kuyale. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a child. Give me a child I can call my own. They refer to me as a man. I am not a man. I am not a man. Give me my own child. I want to feel like a woman. Give me the joy of motherhood. <laughs> You have been crying. I have been crying before to call this up. Give me the one I can call my own. 
Don't worry, my husband. I will get your food. No. If a seer will tell me that the problem is with your wife, I will look into that seer's face and tell him that he's an idiot. A blind goat. The problem is not with your wife, but with you. I want you to back off and allow someone like me to plant the seed of hope. Why are you looking at me like this? You're giving me reasons to worry. Some men are beginning to look into our marriage. I want you to stand by me. There is nothing Hawks can do to us if we are together. Sheran Banugu, we are glad that finally you are showing concern as a mother. Barrenness does not run in our family. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And we need no seers to give us any confirmation. For us to know that his wife has been the one who is unable to conceive. That is why I have been making an arrangement to bring in a new wife for him. I have even concluded talks with um, Ide Jimba of whom may be the kingdom, to release his daughter to us. And that is where I would want both of you to come in as his uncles. Well, you don't have to beg us to do what we must do. Chinua in question is our son. And we cannot allow him to continue this way. First and foremost, let us see the woman you are arranging for from whom we be there. Then we will come in and use our positions and powers mm -hmm. as uncles. Go to accord. Mm -hmm. She was with my father yesterday uh -huh. and was complaining bitterly. I am not sure if she means it, but I'm certain she's planning to get a new wife for Chino. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. I don't know what they are thinking. Mm -hmm. Oshora and Banigo, the self-acclaimed action woman of Omoa Kingdom. A woman who has become so popular that she's known by almost everyone, is planning to get a new wife for her son. And she comes to talk to your father. Tell me the truth, Waneka, who is the new wife? Nkiruka, mm -hmm. what kind of man being are you? Does it mean one cannot tell you anything as a friend without getting a confusing interpretation from you? Uh, 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 our meeting the last time is not anywhere. So I have come for us to conclude what we have started. Uh, uh, mm. Omega, if you don't mind, please excuse us. You already excuse me. Hey, please, Omega, wait. I want to trash this development here immediately before you go out there and form a useless opinion. You said I held a meeting with you. Where, please? Hey, what do you mean, where? And Kiruga, listen to me. There is an urgent need for us to conclude what we've started. We have to conclude this discussion. Go ahead. Say whatever you want to say before my friend. Banu, no! How can you say a thing like that? Yeah? What I am planning to say is for you and you alone. Not help. Excuse us, please. You're not serious. Huh? Let's get out of here. Diruga! Hey. Yeah? What I wanted to beg her is for her to come to my place later in the evening and collect the meat I roasted for her. Why would she live like that? Can you swear on your life that the meat is the only reason why you are luring her into your house? You idiot! 
Don't get a you idiot. It's a name. Do you want me to kill you in this town? Eh? Who gave the right to interrupt my meeting with those maidens? When did you start monitoring my activities in this land? Three questions. Three questions in one, and you expect me to answer you, right? Huh. Well, you see, I don't really have your time. But let me tell you, be very careful with those maidens. They can kill. Ta! Ta! You idiot! How can that be possible? Eh? They can kill. They can kill you! I, I don't know if I'm idiot! Those maidens cannot kill me! Do they even know me? It's a lab of Umoma Kingdom. The only young man that dies with others. Idiot! It is you that in those minutes we kill. I don't know if you're going to wait to the You idiot! You idiot! Let's see the man! Oh! Don't worry, I'll, I'll bring out time for you. Do you know if you're going to wait to the It is you that we kill. I don't know if you're going to wait to the man. I don't know if I am talking to you. Why are you not listening to what I am saying? And that is because you're not making any sense to me. You want me to stand there and listen to what Ezelabo was saying. Why must I do that? Because you never can tell what he wanted to say. Nkiru, you may continue to pretend about it. But I know you have been praying for a sister to come your way. And what does that have to do with the issue under discussion? Is there any maiden in our Obioma age grade who has not been praying for a sitter? Why make reference to mine? I made reference to yours because obviously you've lost it. Does it not occur to you that Ezelabo, whom you just dismissed as a fool, could be the answer to that prayer? Oh, mm. Waneka. I wish you the same. Is this your dream for me? To end up with Ezelabo as a husband? Hey. Um, what is wrong with Ezelabo, if I may ask? In fact, Ezelabo is excellent. He's the best man in our land. But you know what? I'm not interested in that best man. If you like him that much, you can throw yourself at him. I am certain that you don't need any complicated technique to say this that one. Do it and thank me later. What insult? What does she think? That she has better class than me. One neck. The only daughter of Ichi Obuefi, Ife de Ma. In her years, but Yes, 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 yes. Who is she? Who is she? The seven Kiru can I do know? Eh? Why are you asking useless questions as if you never knew who I was talking about? Oh, Nkiruka. Uh. <laughs> she asked you to wait for her here. So yeah. sit down and wait for her. Are you serious? Yes. She asked me to wait for her. Yes, I, 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 please stay here and I'll feed it to the instruction. I'll wait. I'll wait. Where will be the best position? She asked me to stay with her. Hey. Hey. Let me stay here. I am sure she has gone to prepare herself well. I have for me. And I am going to hit her heart. <laughs> she will be enjoying it with tears. <laughs> My daughter. Bye -bye. We share a common boundary with the people of Umoma Kingdom. But we are not the same with them. Women are almost nothing here in Umwibide Kingdom. It's not the same with Umoma Kingdom. In Umoma, Women are given great respect. Now that you are finally getting married to a man from Umuangwa Kingdom, I would like you to drop that inferiority complex and then brace up for the challenges ahead. People fail only when they choose to fail. Till date, mortals have never celebrated a permanent failure of a man who decides to succeed. Bear that in mind. Thank you, Father. 
even as I am still surprised with this pattern of marriage and the urgency with which you have gone about it. I will say that I still trust you. Appreciate your trust, my daughter. You will see the gains in the long run. Now, brother, look, your mother in law is waiting. My husband, don't you think we should sell out the fish pond? Why? Why? Is it because of what happened last year? No, that will not repeat this year. I have this belief that we will have more fishes in that pond. Hmm? I'm sorry, my dear, but it happened last year. It happened two years ago, even. When we finally opened the pond to harvest fishes, we found more frogs instead. So I am suggesting that we sell it out to other people. Good luck to them if they find fishes in the pond. But if they don't, and they find frogs as we are used to, we have nothing to lose. Yes. Um, ah. uh, Mother, no. Uh -huh. You're welcome. Mother, uh -huh. welcome. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Come, come. What my son needs, I am not wrong with this. He needs a child. And that is why I have arrived from Umuibide with the very fertile daughter of Idejimba of Umuibide kingdom. She is going to take the place of this man you smuggled in here as a woman. What is the meaning of this man? You mean he traveled way to Umuibide to bring this girl for me? Did I tell you I need a wife? You didn't need to tell me. Because I know. Listen, barrenness does not run in my family. Neither does it run in your own family. So we cannot continue to dwell in barrenness just because you made a mistake and ended up with this man. Ne? Well, go and keep your things inside, oh, and feel at home. Thank you. Thank you, Mama. Hey, Nanya, Nanya, where do you think you're going? Take your basket of clothes, go back to your land. I don't need a wife. You're a liar. We, who are you even calling wife? This man. Eh? She has come to stay. She's not going anywhere. If there's anyone that should leave, it is this man. Because two men cannot live together. Please, if the gods do not approve of what your mother is doing, it will clash. Let them be. Man, you are comfortable. See, I live in this compound, but I am not always at home. My son is your husband. You must stand up for your right. You must fight for your right. Mama, you didn't tell me your son already has a wife. I mean, she's already angry with me and I don't know how I am going to handle that. You will have to handle it as a true daughter of whom will be the kingdom. Let me tell you something. The rats eat everything, but not the fish of a man who is not asleep. You have to make up your mind for this right. You must win it. You appear to be very angry and I'm telling you, you have no reason to be. 
Uncle, I don't understand you. I don't understand you. My mother wants to own me be the kingdom without my consent or knowledge. And imported a girl as my wife. I want you to caution her as the head of this family. You are talking like a child. And that is because you are indeed a child. Your mother does not need your consent at all to present you with a wife that is going to reproduce. But I have a wife. Which wife? I have a wife I married with my money that you and everybody in this village is aware of it. But I've never told anyone on you that I'm sick and tired of that woman. Why must she impose another woman on you? Listen, Shino Alamogu, I think the time is right for me to explain this to you. A woman who has lived with a man for four years without a child or even miscarriage can be invited to men's meeting. Magami. Because she's did a man. And your wife, the one you are calling your wife is in this that's that's a category. You should be thanking your mother for the step she has taken. Listen to me. You have to go back to your place and marry the woman your mother has presented. Needless to tell you that it is a taboo in this kingdom for any man to reject any woman married for him by the mother. The consequences might be very devastating. And I am so certain you don't want that to befall you. His mother has decided to solve the problem once and for all, and he's not happy about that. But tell me, what can he do? You mean she has finally married a new wife for him? Definitely. That was so fast. Who is the maiden that agreed to be married with such level of urgency? That is where I have a problem. That is where my problem is. But the choice is hers, and there is nothing anybody could do about it. What are you talking about, Father? Is there an issue with the maiden? Hmm. Oshi Oramba Anugo traveled all the way to him, Umuibide to go and marry a maiden for Shino Alamog, her son. That simply means that Oshi Oramba never believed in any of the maidens of our Umu Umu kingdom. <laughs> I have a problem with that, my child. And I feel very disturbed. As you said earlier, the choice is hers, and there is nothing we could do about it. So why are you bothered? I am bothered because had it been she married from amongst us, a maiden of this land, I mean she married amongst the maidens of this land, maybe Shinwalamogu will not be feeling the way he is feeling about his wife now. That you love me so much is not in doubt. I know, and I can vouch for you. I know how you feel about the girl presented to you by your mother. But I am begging you, please, do not ignite the wrath of the gods because you love me. What are you talking about? I did not tell anybody that I needed a wife. I know, and that is why I said I can vouch for you. However, what I gathered is that it is a taboo here in Umuawa Kingdom for a man to reject a wife married for him by his mother, mainly when she has paid the bride price of the woman. A man can reject a woman married for him by his father, but nobody must reject the woman married for him by his mother. Please, I am begging you, accept her. Just so we can avoid the anger of the gods. Biko. I don't love that woman from the bush tribe of Umubi the kingdom. She is not my wife. You are the one that I love so much. And my heart yearns for you. Mm. 
Dear Mama, I know all this. Sincerely, I do. But I don't want you to disobey your mother. I know why she brought that girl to you. I know. She now sees me as a man. I am not a man. Listen, if it pleases Olisa to bless us through her, then so be it. You mean what you just said? I mean every word I say to you. As you will always say, Lisa knows the best. I want you to understand that I love you so much. You mean the whole world to me. She is aware they now see her as a man. For indeed she is a man. Why then is she still holding on to the marriage? Idejimba, why are you looking at me as if you don't know me? It is me, Okudiri, your in-law. I am sure that you have not come to provoke me. If that is why you are here, I will advise you to leave in time before I break your bones. And who are you to refer to yourself as my in-law? Idejimba, am I not supposed to marry your daughter? We have already fixed a date. And unfortunately, that date will no longer hold. For my daughter, Masinachi, is already married. How is that possible? Married to who? She's married to who she's married to. Now, take a look at yourself, Okutini. Do you think you are worthy of being my daughter's husband? Idejimba. You are getting me confused more. We have been going on well. Okudele, I am done with you. The maiden you came to marry is already married. Go and look for another. Where are you going without your keg of power? Go and take it. Okudele! All are surprised as we are. Look up one morning and discover that Idejimba has married his daughter to Umawa. Hmm? Yes. Just like that. Who are the people that took part in the marriage? The marriage is still a mystery to us. Will you call that marriage? There was no celebration. Hmm? Idejimba single-handedly married his daughter to Umawa Kingdom. Hi, Chi. See, I blame myself in all this thing. Why didn't I pay her bribe at all this while? I would have married her out and all this thing wouldn't have happened. You wouldn't have even married her. Because Ide Jimba refused to collect the bright price. I believe he has been planning this all this while. So it's not your fault. Hi, she. Hi, she. Come, please. please. Do you know the, the, the family that she's married to in Moa Kingdom? And what will you be doing with such information? Hi. If you are planning on going for research for her, you better don't go there because it will backfire. Huh? Yes. Dilly, why are you doing this? My father told you that I am married. And you came all the way to trace me to Umwawa, my husband's place. I mean, who does that? You are not married. I've gone, I've asked all the elders in your Okadiki family, and they said you're not married. Are you serious? And you came here because you believe that I am not married. Okudili, let me end this here. I am married to a man of Umwawa named Chinwalumogo. There was no celebration. There was no general prayers offered to the gods. The maidens of Umibi they did not get to bid you farewell. Well, those things are not relevant to my father. The Dejimba of Umibi has settled everything that needs to be settled. Okudili, please do not come back here to look for me again. Leave this land and follow me back home. And I will give you the best marriage ever. Okudili, listen to me. Go back to our land. 
you will find a maiden who will be willing to take you. I mean, ready to take you as her husband. I am taking. This is not ordinary. What has the Dejimba done to this maiden that made her change her mind this way? I have something to discuss with you. I'm here. Are you not going to sit? I am seated now. Can I hear? Um, we all know that what a man takes in has a lot to do with what he brings out. I'm very certain you understand what I mean by that. No, I don't understand what you mean by that. Okay, I'll explain. I've been here for two months and nothing has happened. And I'm very certain it has to do with the rubbish you have been feeding my husband. I called you to ask you for a favor. So please stop cooking for my husband. Let me feed him. Mas <laughs> Nachi, hmm? you called me out yes. to tell me that what I cook for your husband is poison. Simple. And that I should stop feeding him. Very simple. Well, that suggestion seems useless to me. Oh, my dear, it is not useless. It's not. It's just something simple you have to do for the family. My dear, you have been confirmed to be a man without a womb. And I am the one that will give this family a child. So please, just allow me to feed my husband. Oh, though, I finished. Excuse me. I am pleading with you to offer me this explanation. As a good man of this land that you are, I am certain it will not cost you anything. We are not talking about the cost implication of your request. No. We are talking of the need. Could this be the reason you are not married yet? Oh, could this possibly be why you renamed yourself Ezerabo? Because you are possibly believing you are important. Ichi, uh, 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 why are you doing this? Yeah? Why are you making this about me? Because I don't understand. No, no, no. It, is, it has nothing to do with me. I am asking questions as a young man of this land that needs to be guided. Needs to be guided on how to know who an important man is? Uh, of what relevance is that information? It is relevant because when you teach me, I will know. How do we know a man who is important? Well, the answer is very simple. Okay. An important man is that man who is living with a woman. And that woman is not denying him anything. As in, he has unhindered access into all the departments of that woman. And they still that woman is not pregnant that man is an important man <laughs> that is it 
I think I like this. Hey, this is what I have already concluded. Mm. I just needed the confirmation from you. <laughs> Thank you very much, EJ. Mm. <laughs> there is another side to the explanation that you equally need to know. And uh, I equally need to give you that other side. So you don't leave this place and go somewhere and make some far-reaching conclusions. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I need that other side. Okay. Tell me everything. We can have a potent man who is living with an impotent woman. That potent man will be doing his level best with the impotent woman and the impotent woman will not become pregnant because she is impotent. It will be very unfair for any man to refer to that man as an impotent man because he is not important. Here in Umuwa Kingdom, what we are going to advise such a man to do is to try another woman. In fact, let him try some women. Hmm? It is only when a man has lived with many women and those women did not conceive. And then those women will start living with other men and they start conceiving. That is when you will know that that original man is indeed important. Ha! Oh, oh it, 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 you have just scattered my head with this explanation. Mm -hmm. I did not scatter your head. Aye. It is something that you needed to know so you don't make mistakes. Aye. Okay, now that you have understood all the departments to the topic under discussion, can you now tell me why you brought this inquiry in the first place? Hi. Oh, it's here, it's here, it. I am not saying that I am better than Isela. But I just feel insulted that you are thinking we are friends. I mean, how can I be friends with a character such as Isela? Echidime, I don't think I am ready to go into all that. Why did you send for me? A group of maidens from Akama came that they want our maidens to teach them our revered Nkwamuagbao. And I told them that I would discuss with their leader, which is you. Uh, that is why I called you. <laughs> why am I finding it very difficult to believe you? As in, I, I don't get. Wait, you think I am actually lying about this? <laughs> Chidimi, wait. Because I want to understand something here. Maidens of Akama want us to teach them our dance. And they approached you. As what? Not as anything. Probably as the only person they saw. The name of their leader is Okukwe. And if you think I'm lying, I can bring her to your house. Better. If sincerely there is a group of people who wants to learn our dance, bring them to me and I shall know how to handle them. Excuse me. I not just tell her the truth and save myself all this. Tell me the reason you called me back. I was getting ready to solve the problem permanently before you acted like a woman. Eh? Women are always in a hurry to make mistakes. Come on. Did you call me back to insult me? Never! I called you back to let you know that what you imported from Umibide Kingdom is not the solution. The problem is from the source, and the solution must come from the source. 
What do you mean by the subs? Your import from Umwe Bede has not stayed for uh, stayed in Umwe for two months. In fact, she is right into the third month and nothing has happened. It simply goes to show that the problem is from the source. I, 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 I wouldn't want to face the wrath of the gods. Ask your son to give me signal. I am my brother's keeper. Only one, one draw from my source will make a great difference. Come, Ezelam. Are you in any means suspecting that my son is important? Obana, the god of fertility, will bear me witness that I never use the word suspect. What will I suspect? Huh? His impotency is so open that you don't need it here to, to confirm it. Like I said already, I am my brother's keeper. I would not want to go to the women that read and uh, uh, be consumed by the, by, by the gods. No! Let your son invite me officially and I will go in with the gods and solve his problem. family way. That is the only way you shut people up. That is the only way people will know that you are a man. As long as you are hiding on that lawn and you continue with this dead vessel, I will be forced to believe what people are alleging, that you are not a man, that you are impotent. Mother. Oh. Mother. You know what you're going to do for me now? Go back to your room and remain there forever. Don't come out again. You are poking into my life and I don't like it. Don't go along with you. insane. I you insane. You inherited this compound from your father. And it remains the property of my husband. It's my father's compound. He and Abed Nagy. Tell him no, sir. My friend. You want to beat me? Do you want to beat me? Go back to your room. Tell him no, sir. Yeah? This is my husband. We have, we have discussed extensively and have come to a conclusion that you actually assaulted your mother. No, 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 no. Is she a Juan Asanya? I did not assault her. She was the one who assaulted me. She looked me in the eyes and called me an important man. Is that the reason you had the guts to beat up your own mother? Huh? What she said is not known by all. 
Huh? I expected you to give signal. And men like me will invade into your privacy and wipe away your sorrows. Does it mean that you elders will not caution this idiot, this mad cop, and one ever to stop insulting me? Who is an idiot? Who is an idiot? Who is an idiot? You are an idiot. You are an idiot. You are an idiot. You are an idiot. Come on, Susan. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Listen, shut up. I am aware both of you have not been getting on well lately. And we are not here to discuss that. Obre Fabian. We are here for something very serious and we are going to allow you to go and solve your problems yourself. Let us face why we are here. Shinwa, before the end of tomorrow, you are required to present one goat <coughs> and one white hen as fine for assaulting your mother. My elders, I did not assault her or raise my hands on her. I did not assault her. I did not raise my hands against her. I was eating with my wife. She came from her room. Mm. Mm. She stood before me and ran all the insult on this edge on me. She called me all sorts of names. She was the one who assaulted me. Well, I am not going to exchange words with you. We don't have that time. But we are telling you that we have listened to your mother and we have now listened to you and we have come to the conclusion that you indeed you assaulted your mother. That's what I called. You have until the end of tomorrow to present the fine. And let me say it again if you didn't get it before. One goat, one white hen. If by the end of tomorrow you fail to present this fine, you shall leave us with no other option than to see relationship with you as a man of this family. And your mother will be no more. Oh, there is the one who goes Don't Don't say one more word before the whole fight will follow. Say one more word and you will get the whole fight. I am sorry, I am sorry, Edas. I, I am not happy about this fight. Why are you not happy with the fight? We should be concerned on how to raise a family for our brother. Yeah? What are we going to do with goat and chicken? Yeah? I was expecting you, Edas, to talk him into calling others to help him. How many goats are we going to eat before we are tired of goat meat? Listen, Edas. I don't want to long with Edas. Of course, that is what he is. Now, listen to me. Do not let your individual interest be cloud your sense of reasoning. We cannot tolerate any form of assault on our wives. Any of our wives. Women that are married into families can be assaulted in other lands, not here. Anyhow. Here in Umuahua Kingdom, married women, women that were married in families, particularly those women that have produced sons, sons that we have presented before our ancestors, must never be assaulted. Did you hear that? She is a wife to all in the family and must be protected by all. <coughs> His impotency is so open. I don't think it's here. It is not possible. My son cannot be important. But Ezelabo spoke like one who is sure. Why are you looking at me like that? What is the matter? I have been fined by the Council of Elders. I am here to tell you that I would not pay that fine. You are the one that assaulted me. So if there's anyone to pay that fine, it must be you. Chinua, come back. 
Forget about the fine. I will pay. I really want us to talk like mother and son. It is common these days for you to flare up whenever I ask a simple question. It's because you're beginning to be a problem to my life. You are poking into my life and that gives me reason to worry. You shouldn't be worried, son. I want to ask you a very simple question. And it will be appreciated if you answer me sincerely. I am listening. Since you started playing with girls as a young man, have you ever been accused of getting any of them pregnant? Hmm? What kind of nonsense question is that, mother? It is a very important question, Chino. There is a rumor making the rounds, and I want to get to the root of it. What room? Answer my question first. Have you ever impregnated a woman? <laughs> Mother. I don't have time for a nonsense question like this. I cannot answer you such question. What I do room I don't do my mom. Eva, I called you back to let you know that what you imported from Umebe there, kingdom, is not the solution. The problem is from the source, and the solution must come from the source. My lord, from the look on your face, I can tell that you're not happy with my suggestions. Being happy or not being happy is not the issue. The issue is that I don't like drinking herbal medicine from strangers. Why must you ask me to take a strange formula before I can be with you? I'm sorry, my lord. I don't trust your new wife. I am not asking you to stop seeing her. No, you can go to her as many times as you want. She is your wife. All I'm saying is that you should drink the formula to cleanse your system. That way, I will be confident enough to open myself to you again. Please do this for me, then be cool. What are you thinking this for? Are you in any way suspecting that she's carrying all these too many incurable diseases? Not exactly, my love. But I was brought up to be cautious. Listen, she is not from this land. She's from Umwibide Kingdom. And we all know that women from Umwibide Kingdom are known to be very loose. Yes. I just don't want you to, to contact any deadly disease. Please, my love. Mm -hmm. Oh, just, just drink it so we can be on the safe side. Please, my husband, can I have your word with you?
That man, who are you calling that man? I am talking about Adadima. Tell me the things that she tells you that have captured your interest completely. The slogan is, when they get a new wife, they drop the old one. Tell me why you are still anchored to that old wife when you have a new wife that is able and always available. Listen to me, Masnachi. That I'm your husband, I agree. My mother is the one who married you for me, not me. Adadima is my wife that I married with my own money. Don't force me to break your bones one of these days. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going Why are you always provoking me? Just to let you know that who married who is not the issue. The important thing is that you are married to two wives. One who is a man that has been confirmed to have no womb. And the other who is already pregnant. So tell me, would you still break my bones? Can you repeat what you just said? Are you pregnant? You put it in there. So you have the right to be the first to know. Chima! Hey! I will then when they find him. You mean you cannot be serious for once in your life? I am not here to talk about the fine. My son has already told me, and I'm going to pay. How will you pay the fine? Yeah? He was the one they fined for assaulting you. How will you say you want to pay? Like I said, I have not come to talk about the fine. Ah. I want you to tell me why you have concluded that my son is important. Ah. Why are you always using strange words? I will not say that I, conclu I, I, I concluded. Yeah? Who am I to ever conclude? Listen, the conclusion of the high level impotency is written everywhere in your compound. Yes! Tell your son to give Sigma and a visitor will visit the two women and that visit will translate into pregnancy. Is that not what you need? Mm, that is what I need. Oh, I agree. That was why I had to go to Omuibide to marry that wife for my son. But I don't know why my son is not doing what is expected of him. Uh, okay, okay. Let me break it down for you. I am that visitor. And I am ready to visit. But if you don't want it, <laughs> you can go. I wait for your son to do what you know that is impossible. Are you really serious about this rubbish? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. So you want to sleep with my daughter's in law? Mm -hmm. If we call it sleep, it will mean that I am planning to derive pleasure from the art. No! No! Listen, Chiara. This is something I want to do to assist the brother. <laughs> you know, to assist the brother. Are you ready to talk some sense into your son? I don't exactly know what you are cooking, but I don't like the smell you are sending into the air. Why are you always looking for trouble? What is your business with what I am cooking? And does it look like I am concerned as a person? The smell of what you are cooking is disturbing the baby in my womb. And I have come to tell you 
to put out your fire and discontinue cooking. Don't you think that's a rude way of telling me that you're pregnant? Well, I am particularly delighted about your pregnancy. But if you don't mind, Riku, go back to your room and stay there. And what makes you think you are still relevant in this family to give orders? A blind man that managed to pick up a fruit blown down by benevolent wind as he walks across the road should not make mockery of those that see. You know why? Those that see can actually climb the tree anytime and pluck as much fruit as they want. The blind cannot do this. And, and, and what is the meaning of that proverb? Proverbs, who are you? Now listen, I am carrying an important pregnancy, and the air I breathe must be clean. Why would this man invite me here? What have I committed? I was thinking that uh, 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 Chinua has brought the fine. But I looked around and I did not see any good. You were looking around for good. What's your own with good? Can you look me straight into my face and deny you have not been the one at the forefront of accusing Chinua Lomog of being important? Ichi, were you not the one that gave me the explanation? Eh? He is living with two women as wives, and none of them is pregnant. Can you possibly confirm that the two women are barren at the same time? No, it is not possible. And in your stupidity, you now believe you are the person that will make the two women pregnant? Who else? Eh? Or are you positioning yourself to be the one? No! The women will not agree to an Stop uh, listening to me, I don't want to so let me give you this advice. Because uh, your father is late. So those of us who are alive should assume the position of your father to advise you. So that you don't make a mistake in your life. Before you say anything with your mouth, first of all, reason that thing in your head and try to understand where what you are going to say will take you. You must analyze what you are going to say before you say it. Stop lusting after another man's wife. Because it is a taboo in this land. If you force Shinwalomogu to kill you, 
when you die, your spirit will disappear into thin air. Will not appear anywhere in any ministration. Why? 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 What nonsense truth? What useless truth? That you want Chinano Mogu to bring his two wives to you so that you can make both of them pregnant? What? Ezelabo, is this what you have become? Uh, listen, your father is just to, twisting the whole thing and he's making, making it look as if it is a serious issue. It was never how I said it. That means you actually said something like that. Now I know what to tell them. What to tell who? Please warn your daughter. Warn your daughter not to use my name as a topic with her friends in this land. I will not take it. Huh? Okay. She doesn't know what I said and she cannot twist anything. Let me try to understand what you said. Is it not that you want Shin Walumog to bring his two wives to you so that you can make them pregnant? Is that not what you said? Was it how I said it? Say it again. How did you say it? Because of an ordinary dream? What I had is not an ordinary dream. I saw a good looking woman, strangely having the head of a he goat making jest of my daughter. I pulled my arrow to strike, but she transformed into a proper woman with long hair. She was laughing at my daughter as she's in pain. I am terribly worried. <sighs> if you ask me, I will tell you to forget about the dream because it has no relevance whatsoever. I disagree. It has serious relevance. I'm not going to sit here and assume that all is well. Take a message to my daughter. Tell her to see me as soon as possible. Descendants of warriors do not take anything for granted. <laughs> I am happy, my son. You have proven them wrong. Now I know that my son is a man. Hey! Mother, I am happy. I'm excited. Hey! Mm. It's already two months on. Eh? Have you told your first wife? Why do you ask? I have this feeling that she might harm that child. Madam, no. I disagree with you. My wife is a gracious woman. She cannot do anything that is not noble. You really think so? Mother, I don't just think so. I know so. Adadema is a decent woman. She cannot do anything to harm me or anybody in this family. Son, mm, there is this truth that has been around for so many years. I will teach you that truth. A woman that seeks conception and is unable to find it is capable of doing anything. You cannot entrust that kind of a woman with a helpless child. She might kill that child. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. Let me finish. A frustrated woman can do the unthinkable. So please, don't tell your so-called Adadema. She might hurt that baby. My uncle said you needed to see me urgently. So I had to leave everything I was doing to answer you. <sighs> Mother, what is the problem? I had a terrible dream. 
and I'm worried. What was your dream? I saw a good looking woman laughing at you. And I want to know why a woman with the head of a he goat would be laughing at my daughter. You threw away my pot of salt. And I was telling you that the poison you are cooking is choking the baby in my womb. And you had the effrontery to talk proverbs. Who are you? Now listen. I am carrying an important pregnancy. And the air I breathe must be clean. Your look betrays your mind. Tell me, who was that woman that was laughing at you? Nobody was laughing at me, mother. I am always looking up to Olisa, the all-knowing God that lives beyond the earth. Nobody can laugh at me. My father is one of the only few men in Omoa that killed lion with bare hands. This is a strong family. Tell me if you are in trouble and I shall step in as the daughter of a warrior. I am not in any kind of trouble. The only problem is my husband has been presented with a new wife. But there is no problem. This should not bother you. We are getting along well. Hmm. Open up to me. I'm your mother. Was she the one laughing at you? Please, don't do anything to her. She's pregnant. And the family needs that child. Be cool. Fools are laughing at my daughter. Because Obana, the god of fertility, has refused to smile at her. We shall see. He didn't know. He didn't know. It is good for a young pregnant woman. It will strengthen your nerves and keep your baby healthy till delivery. Drink. Drink. Husband is very excited about this pregnancy. And that remains my only source of strength. Masinachi, when you give a man what he wants and the way he wants it, he remains your slave forever. My son is not an exception. We are all excited that finally the cry of a child will be heard here. Mm. Let me massage your waist. Mama. <laughs> I am standing before you, the great Ubu of our land. I had always believed that Obana, the god of fertility, should be allowed to oversee everything concerning fertility. I still hold that belief. I am here to register my displeasure over the information I got from my daughter. The descendants of men that never killed any enemy animal are laughing at the descendants of men that killed dangerous animals with bare hands. This is unacceptable. They are laughing at my daughter because she has not been able to conceive in her husband's house. Great Ngu, move and undo what has been wrongly done. 
My daughter will conceive, and fools will not be able to laugh at her again. Yourself, as if the whole world is finally under your feet, and one way one will still be excited over the level of men that have decided to hide their identities. Yeah? What do you mean by labor of men? As a lab, I am here to ask you to swallow your word. My wife is finally pregnant, she is due any moment. <laughs> you talk like a child, and I'm here. Eyes. Open my eyes to what? Tell me. Open my eyes to what? Ezelab. My wife will soon deliver her child. And men like you that don't know how to mind their businesses should be made to get busy with their time. Now listen to me, Chino Alemog. That the woman of the house is finally pregnant does not mean that automatically the man of the house is responsible. Second. Yes! Pregnancy can come from other sources. Ezelab. Ezelab. Oh, That's my name. Are you in any way insinuating that my wife got pregnant from somewhere else? I never said that. But if I were you, I would do everything possible to make sure of the source. Listen to me, Ezelab. I want you to stay clear of my family. I will not warn you again. Stop talking trash about me. I can warn you again. And we're going to talk. Talk. you with me. You're going to give it. You're going to give it. You are excited over another man's level. Yes. Talk. You're with you. Does it mean you are here for us? How many times have I told you to stop cooking the thing that always wants to make me throw up? Are you planning to make me lose my child? Masmaj, <laughs> be cool. I do not have time for your trouble. Hey! Not now. So I will advise you, go back to your room. Stay there and mind your business. Be cool. Mwah. Masmaj, should go back to her room and mind her business. What other business do I have? When you have succeeded in saturating the air with the smell of death in an attempt to kill my child. Put off your fire and I will go back to my room. Yes. Mm. Mm. She's done again. 
For the second time, Masnachi is pouring out my pot of soup. Yes. What is a pot of soup compared with my grandchild? Let me tell you. If you ever touch her again, I will skin you alive. Which? to give birth to a king. That witch has found out. Now she's doing everything possible to induce a miscarriage. Ha. Mama, it will not work for her. Not possible. It will not work hey. for her. I, I don't know the kind of soup she cooks. Every, every time she starts cooking that soup, my, my tummy will start rumbling, I know making that me feeling. want to throw up. I know that feeling. Hey, Mama, do you know that sometimes even the baby in my womb will be kicking when, when she's cooking that soup. That's to show you that he, he doesn't even like the smell of the soup and the aroma of the soup. It's okay. Hi. Hmm? Don't worry. Oh. It will soon end. Oh. Ndo, oh, ndo. I will massage your waist for you. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Where? She kicked me here. here. Wicked girl. Don't make the baby has shifted. No, no, no. no. Hi. Sorry. Oh. Oh. Ndo, ndo. Ma, hold me, hold me. Your mother has refused to understand that I was pushed to the wall. I slapped a pregnant woman. I shouldn't have. I didn't intend to, but I was forced. She poured away the wonderful soup I labeled all evening to cook for you. You don't have to explain all this. I understand. Alright? All I want you to do for me is to comport yourself and allow me to do things my way. I will handle it. Okay? Come here. You don't have to continue crying. Are you sounding as if you're completely heartless? Do you know what it means for someone to slap a pregnant woman? A pregnant woman that does not know where to stop? Sincerely, Nkiruka, I give it to Adadema for tolerating that winch Ochora brought from Umuibide. <laughs> Honestly, if I were Adadema, I would have sorted that maiden out since. Hmm. There is nothing one we not see in this kingdom. Is this the same one, Neka, my friend, or another maiden entirely? Why are you supporting evil? Why are you calling another man's wife a witch? Nkiruka, hmm? if you believe that she's not a witch, then you must figure out another name for her. For crying out loud, what is her business with what another woman is cooking? Let's call a spade by its name, please. Let's assume that your sister is the one that was pregnant and was slapped that way what are you going to do eh? mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't need to ask that mm -hmm. because no sister of mine will be that stupid i only pity the poor chinua that is in the center of all see in kiruka that maiden is very lucky that i am not fully involved Elsa Kagoma please, Waneka, 
let's change this topic before it becomes something else. Please. End it where you want to end it. But always know that I do not support anyone. Let's forget the fact that Adadema is, is, is our sister from Uruwa Kingdom. I will do same for anyone, no matter where she's from. What right does that maiden have to throw away another woman's pot of soup? I don't understand what is going on. You called me here and you are pissing all around. What is the problem? Fools are daring me. And I'm going to descend on them with sledgehammer. What happened? And who are the fools? Do you know the first visitor I received this morning? No. Umon Nakwe, the son of Umon Nakwe, came this morning to inform me that Ochi Rambanugu, the mother of my daughter's husband, had joined hands with the woman they married from the Bush tribe, Umu Ibide to beat up my daughter. Jay! I called you here to confide in you as my brother. I'm going to destroy that woman. Are you sure what we're saying? I'm telling you what the son of Omo Nakwe said. Who are they to lay their cursed hands on my daughter? Who are they? They are nobody. There are two reasons I raise this case. You acknowledge the fact that this is a family of warriors and people must not take us for granted. Secondly, you came on your own to explain what happened without waiting for us to send for you. It shows you're sorry and I forgive you. Thank you very much. As a wine the wall I go about. I really appreciate your understanding. I love your daughter so much. I promise I will never let her down. I've prayed to Ungu concerning the problem my daughter is having with conception. And I know everything will be all right someday. You see? You see? Hmm. I think that is fine. Allowed me touch it. Since you want to cook, collect a reasonable quantity and go and cook. 
I actually fetched this firewood because I have something I want to do with it. Please. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want your trouble. Oh, you don't want trouble. But you're always in a hurry to exhibit your, your, your lack of home training. Okay? Listen to me. Biko, collect what you need for the evening. I try to so. I know you're pregnant. I'm a need the evening. I'm not asking you to go and look for firewood in the bush. Collect the one you need. Biko. She tell the woman that is carrying my grandchild to go into the bush and fetch firewood. Mother, you are judging her wrongly. And that is not fair. She only asked her to, to take the quantity she might need. She refused. Why would she want to live with the whole of the firewood? Why the owner already told her that she needed it for something very important? You know, the only problem I have with you is that you will never see anything wrong in whatever that woman does. Okay, why would she slap a pregnant woman in the first place? Mother, you're complicating issues. You are complicating issues and I don't like it. Master, that she was the one who hit her first with the wood. The mark is still on her hand. Tell Master that she to stay away from trouble. If she needed fire wood, that, that, that's serious. She should go inside the bush and fetch fire wood. But she cannot. She can employ people to do that for her. Please. I don't want any further trouble in my house. Yeah, Chino. Chino, I come back here. What kind of an evil woman slap a pregnant woman? What do you know about this family? I, I don't know why you will. Ask me that. Yeah? I have not come to discuss your family. Rather, I have come to advise that your daughter remain here for her own good. My said daughter is married to a man in this kingdom. I know. Who is still behaving like one that suckled his mother's breast. So, why would my daughter leave him? Eh, uh, my friend. Your son-in-law may not be the problem. The problem is the woman that Ochoa married from whom we be there. She will poison your daughter one of these days. Eh? I have come because I, I am concerned as a true friend of the family. Ezelabo, I appreciate your concern. Thank you very much. Do not bother about her, Daddy Ma. She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. That she's fine. How can you say that? Eh? Oh, oh, okay. When was the last time you went to Gina's house? You see? I am the one that goes there always, and I am telling you that the woman from whom we've been there is planning to kill your daughter, and you're here telling me that she's fine. She's better been here, in fact. She is safer here. <laughs> when I asked you what you knew about this family, I intended to remind you that we are descendants of warriors. And we are still warriors, even until death. If someone will finally run from that compound, it must be the woman from whom we be there, not my daughter. 
never my daughter. And the said woman of whom we be there is pregnant as we speak. In fact, they have been pampering her as if she's going to give birth to a king. Yeah, I hear you here telling me that she's going to run. Yeah? If you are sure she's planning evil against my daughter, then she must run from the same evil that shall rise. It will happen before all of you in your Abata village. You will surely remember this day. I... I decided to tell you the truth. There was no maiden of uh, Kama who wanted to learn uh, Okuma Bom. I only called her just to get away of to talk with you. Should I tell you the truth? I knew you were lying from the one. I am certain you noticed. So your final apology has not changed anything. It only confirmed what I knew already. And sincerely, I forgive you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So tell me, what are you saying about what I told you? What did you tell me? That you want to make me your wife? Look, and I mean every word of it. I am prepared for this now. Okay? Look, if you agree to marry me today, I will come and see your people before the next market day. Echidimi. <laughs> so if I agree to marry you now, and you are required to pay my bride price, with which money would you pay the bride price? Well, I... I don't understand your question. Look, I am Echidimi. An excellent shooter of the gun. I am the best hunter in my age grade. And that is exactly the reason I will never be your wife. <laughs> If you have saved enough money and now needs a wife, look for others. I know it's possible you're thinking I'm still angry with you. The truth is that I am not. I know she provoked you first. I've forgotten about the incident. I have forgotten about it as well. Actually, there is something more important I want to talk to you about. What is it? One who is surrounded by enemies should learn to stay at red alert. Are you by any chance suspecting attack from the other quarters? My husband. I know it is only natural for you to shout, but please, I beg you, control it. I am pregnant. What? Yes. Are you kidding me? I am telling you what is happening. You're pregnant? <laughs> you see, I am already two months gone. <laughs> Gods of my ancestors. Yeah? I told you that true Kholisa will come to our aid. Yes. I told you he'll smile on us. Ugwefi with the neighbor owner of Umuama Kingdom. Am I dreaming or what? You will wake up to find out that I have come to warn you. When men 
order to prepare a potent medicine for the eye. They do not consider pepper. Anna go go danya. Edit in yourself. I don't understand. I don't know the specific warning that was going to give me. If you want to know how a grave looks like, dig your own grave. Attempt one more time to dig into the grave of my son. And you will see the fire in it. And what's up? Can you withstand the fire? Obuvi, all my life, I have never attempted to dig any grave before. What grave are we talking about now? There is a lesson my son is learning and you are not the one teaching him. Allow him to make mistakes and correct himself. Interfere once more in my son's learning process. And I will show you, I will expose you to something mightier than fire. I was young when you were buried. Are you confirming to me that you are not dead then? appear to me. Are you sure you're still normal? <laughs> A young man in the caliber of HDMA proposed to you and you turned him down. What exactly are you looking for in a man that HDMA does not have? <laughs> different medics, different faces. Different tales and different mindsets. Okay, Ruka. If you consider Echidime to be the best, go ahead and marry him. He is not for me. And I'm asking you why. Are you aware that he's already admitted into the prestigious Ibuino of a society? Mm -hmm. As a young man, he has already killed a lion. Once he marries, he'll be given the title of Uwago. And because he killed a lion, I shall accept to be his wife. Come on, Nkiruka. Give me some credit. I am not in that class. Why are we celebrating stupidity in this part of the world? Please, Maneka, don't insult me. Why are you calling me stupid? I am not referring to you, my friend. I am referring to our men. Any man that carries a gun and enters into the forest to hunt and kill innocent animals that are living in their world it's very stupid to me. Such a man can go ahead and marry any woman, and not me. You mean you have a problem with our hunters killing our animals for food? Every reasonable human being should have a problem with that. For crying out loud in Kiruka, we have goats, cows, rams, chickens, and other animals already domesticated for human consumption. Any man that is killing helpless animals with gun is not worthy to be my husband. Go and tell Echidime that I, Waneka, said so. What do you say?
Why are you looking for trouble? Why are you blocking my way to the front? Your father appeared in my dream. I was young when he passed on. And I'm here to confirm that he was a great man. Great men do not appear anyhow. Now I want you to tell me what you reported to him that warranted him to appear in my dream. That's a lab. You must do me one good favor. Leave the room. I am running late for fun. I'm not finding this blockage any funny. You're not the only one that is running behind time. Go back to your father's grave and tell him that Ezelabo is not planning anything evil against you. Tell him that I have no interest whatsoever in any of your wives. I have women littered everywhere in this kingdom. Tell your father that I was only joking when I asked you to pass your wife over to me. I've heard you. Can you clear from the road? Eh, I want you to swear on this your cutlass that you will kneel before your father's grave and say what I've just said. I will do what you ask me to do. Good, but man. swearing on my cutlass is one thing I cannot do. Ah. Uh, mm. It's all right. Okay, okay. Swear on these virgin grasses that are looking at us that you will do it. I promise you that I will do what you ask me to do. But I can never swear. Now, touch my head and tell me that you will see what I've said. As a labo, as I can go and walk, I will lunge there. Get away from my road. Even my enemies will tell you that I cannot swear. I'm a man of integrity. Hmm? I've given you my words. I will do what you ask me to do. And I rala. Tell your father that a living mask is better than a dead or a missing mask. Tell your father to stop appearing in my dream. See, I know men that can change him. Let him not force me to do that. I was able to speak with her. And she explained why she turned your proposal down. It has nothing to do with you as a person, for I know she likes you. It has to do with your occupation as a hunter. Exactly what she said. But I wonder why a maiden of this land will have problem with a man making legitimate living as a hunter. Let me tell you the truth, Eshidime. I'm beginning to see reasons with what one necker said. There is nothing legitimate in a man killing innocent animals. Wait, 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 wait. Don't even go there. What is this? Is this some sort of conspiracy or what? Listen. Hunting has always been a noble profession in our land. 
My father was a hunter. In fact, he was the one that gave me my first gun. And he was also the one that taught me how to shoot. So I don't understand why maidens of our land will suddenly be speaking ill about hunters. Let me ask you a simple question. I'm hoping to get a simple answer. Go ahead. Since you started taking from our forest by killing innocent animals that are living in their own world, what have you given back to the forest? I seriously don't understand. I mean, what do you mean by what have I given back to the forest? Listen to me. The maker of this world gave us the forest. And we are supposed to be taken from the forest. I don't understand. In fact, why should I be given to the forest? What can even anyone give to the forest? What? I am glad I now know the kind of men we have. Our oh, maidens are becoming aware of a lot of things. Men like you must start in time to reinvent themselves. Or they may never find a decent maiden to marry. They want me to stop hunting. So, what else do I do to end the living? I was washing my mouth when she ran into vomit. I have this feeling that she is pregnant, and I've come to you to confirm. Is she really pregnant? The same man that got you pregnant is responsible for her pregnancy. He is aware. I don't know why they are keeping this away from you. Um, I will give you a big round. I want her dead. It is not right to kill a pregnant woman. Killing her is tantamount to killing the baby in her womb. It is abomination to kill a child that never saw the earth. And I am the one who wants her dead. Let her blood and the blood of her unborn child be on my head. I mean, I am getting close to my happiness and I would not want any woman to share that experience with me. Are you sure you are ready to do this? And I'm asking you to get down to work. Why must she get pregnant same week I am due for delivery? I want that woman dead. She wants their blood on her head. You didn't tell me the woman you want to kill is from lineage of warriors. I, I don't know her family history. But please just tell me, is she dead? The power that left my OCCO for has refused to return to me. 
I saw it hit the hut where she lay. Naturally, the occupants of the hut it hits must die. Okonta, that is not the answer I want to get. Please confirm to me that this woman is finally dead. She is under the protection of ancestral warriors. Physical destruction seems to be the only option left. We may not be able to kill her spiritually. You direct me to those that can be hired to carry out this physical destruction. I want this woman dead. I saw her run out of her compound to her people. Go and prepare what to do next while I await the return of my powers. Mama, I am telling you the truth. My husband has no hand in this. How are you sure? Why didn't he provide protection for his head wife? He came here and told me that he values you more than anything else. And that is the truth. My husband values me much more than anything in this world. He was not at home when I was attacked. He was on the farm. I was lying down when suddenly something hit the roof. And then I heard your voice clearly asking me to run that evil doers were planning to harm me. I ran immediately. I did not look back. Why are they daring the daughter of a warrior who is indeed a warrior? Why are they threatening your life now that Obana has visited you with conception? Why are they sending powers to attack my daughter? I don't know. I don't know. But believe me, my husband has nothing to do with this. You are going to remain in this compound until I unmask those that are planning the destruction of your unborn child. Thank you, Mother. <sighs> but my husband. Adadema, please. Don't tell me anything about your husband. If he loves you so much as he claims, he should come looking for you. You are going to remain here until I expose the identity of the people behind this attack. I am the daughter of a warrior. And mere mortals cannot cage my daughter. Why do I have this feeling that you're lying to me? But I am not lying. She waited for you to go to farm and run back to her people. My husband, it is a taboo in your land for a husband to go after his wife that ran away from her home without reason. And why on earth would she run away without a reason? Tell me what you did to her that made her run away. What has come over you? I'm asking you, what has come over you? Is it that you just can't believe me or what? She got to the climax of her evil antics, and the mother earth started pursuing her. My husband, go in and change. I prepared your favorite, please. And where do you think you are? I'm asking you, where are you going? I will not allow you bring this abomination upon yourself, Umba, never. It is a taboo for a man that married his wife with his own money to go after her after she ran away from her husband's home. I'm carrying your child. I will not let you die. I am surprised at you. So, a woman from whom it be the kingdom is now teaching you the tradition of your people. Let me ask you. How dare you even nurse the idea of trying to trace a woman who absconded for no reason? Huh? 
I know there must be a reason she ran away. I know the woman I married. She cannot abscond without a reason. Mm. Yes. So what do you think is the reason? I don't know. That I must find out. Find out from who? Eh, you know. Concentrate on your wife and forget about the one that ran away. Okay, oh, Leave that one that took off. I don't want to report you to the Council of Elders. So. Concentrate on this one. Forget about that one. I am not trying to impose any decision on you. But I sincerely think we should not hold her against her wish. She says she is missing her husband. We should allow her to go see him. Never. Is it because I've been keeping quiet lately? My name is Ezewa Endowala Gwaba. I could be counted as one of the masquerades in Omoa Kingdom. Why should men threaten my daughter? Ezewa that is only in our imagination. There is no way we can prove that there was a threat if we force her to remain here. I think we should let her go. I'm sorry, educating for my brother. That is not going to happen. Chinua, my in-law, must appear before me and assure me once more that he's able to provide my daughter with the protection she needs. As long as he's not ready to appear before me and make that pronouncement, my daughter remains here.
someone call my name. Why am I out here now and I can't see anybody? Men who are men will always make inquiries about their daughters when they are married in other lands. Why have you sent your daughter to Umuama Kingdom without asking how she's faring? I don't know who you are, but I advise you to be cautious. You are standing before Keke Okadiki, the Dejimba of Umibi the Kingdom. You have no right to walk into my compound and make such unfounded allegations. You believe? My allegation is unfounded? I don't just believe, but I know that the allegation is unfounded. For I am in constant touch with my daughter. And as we speak now, she is pregnant and will soon deliver his son to that family. From the way you are sounding, one will readily conclude that it flows in the blood. What flows in the blood? The witchcraft. She's exhibiting in Umawa Kingdom. And I have concluded that she took after you. And I wonder, why are they digging their graves in the grave of a man of many sides? Who are you? And what are you talking about? Obwe Fi the neighbor of Umuwa Kingdom is standing by you. Can you destroy what I have built? Can you? Edemba, Edemba. I went to consult a seer in Abaga. wanted to know about my sons and their businesses and their families. What every responsible man will do once in a while. And that seer of Abagana, who I already paid good money for his divination, said only little about my sons and started telling me about his Zelava and Mosso. Hmm? Can you explain that? Ah. It's here, I am already confused with this information. That a seer was talking about me. And you are here now asking me to explain. Explain what? Eh? What am I going to explain? Eh? Am I a seer? I never said you are a seer. Because there is no way you can be a seer. A young man of my kingdom who will never mind his business can never attract the benevolent spirits that make one see us. Are you not aware? What is this? What have I done? DJ, what have I done to you? What have I done to deserve this? Eh? What will it be telling me to my face that I, 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 that I do not mind my, my business? But that is the truth. Do you mind your business? Yeah. You know, what do you do in this kingdom? Is it not to move around looking for things that are not looking for you? Is that not your stock in trade? Do you mind your business? Shut up! Obuefi Udeneborna of Umuwa Kingdom. Do you know him?
Yes, yes, I knew him as a young man. <laughs> yes, what about him? Now, listen to the message that the seer asked me to give you. Do not trigger the anger of that great man of this kingdom because you are going to be consumed in the process. That is what the seer said that I should tell you. And I wanted him to explain, and he said, I should not bother myself that you will understand. I don't know what it is that I will understand, but I am advising you, if there is anything you are doing around with the neighbor and family, have a rethink, because that man will kill you. Humans and the spirits may train in the same market, but they do not ever thread together. Come back here. Come back here and tell me what you mean. Oh. Zoe, you are here. Oh, I slept off. Let me go and prepare so that we can go for the meeting. Or are we late already? Oh, don't bother. You may continue with your sleep. The meeting has been postponed. Postponed? Why? For reasons best known to them, oh. I am certain they will fix another date. In the meantime, a man who introduced himself as a wifi Udenebona of Umonwa Kingdom paid me a visit. Obuevi Udenebona of Umuwa Kingdom is standing by you. Can you destroy what I have built? He came to you? What did he say? The question should be, what do you have with him? He said a lot, but all I could gather from his presentations is the gods are angry with you for marrying your daughter off to Mongwa Kingdom alone. Is that what he said to you? By the way, which gods are we even talking about? Gods of our land or gods of Mongwa Kingdom? Oshiram Banigo, your wife has delivered a child to the best of my knowledge. And I've been waiting for you to bring the cola and the other things required for family prayer. Why have you not done that? Ichi Fedema. She has delivered of a child, like you said. But what she delivered is not what I was expecting. So I'm not. What are you talking about? And how do you mean? Ichi Fedema. You know what I'm talking about. I married that woman to give my son a replacement. Another son that can be presented to the ancestors as tradition demands. Rather, she brought forth a girl. And I'm not part of that celebration. You are confirming to me, Oshia Banugo. That you are not going to present cola for family prayer? Whenever she brings forth a, a boy, I will give you whatever you need for the family prayers. Oh. Mm. You're here? Yes, so I'm here. She has slept. Now I have enough time to talk and just bring you with me. <laughs> Talking about this, exactly why I'm here. Mama Snatchi, you must do everything possible to make sure you have a male child in your next delivery. Why would you say a thing like that? I have a very beautiful daughter and I'm very happy. I know you are very happy, but what of your mother-in-law? Is she happy? She was with my father earlier, and the way she sounded, I am afraid. Please, I don't want to talk about Ochiora and Banogo for now. 
off? I ran into your husband and with a slight smith, he told me that you are finally pregnant. So, I've come to see how you're faring. I'm very well, thank you, my dear. <laughs> but I am worried. Worried about what? I'm worried about my husband. It's been two weeks since I came here and he has not come to know why I fled. Are you thinking he's ever going to come? Of course, yes. I only ran back here to tell my mother what happened to me that afternoon. I never planned to stay here. Hmm. Then why don't you go back? You know you are the one that left without waiting for your husband. And tradition holds that he must not come for you. Or he'll be asked to pay fine. Hmm. I know. I know about that tradition. But I equally know that I mean much more to my husband than any fine. My mother ordered me not to live here. And you know I cannot disobey my mother. So, as a matter of fact, are you trying to tell me that I should go and tell your husband to come and see you? Please do. Tell my husband that I did not run away from him. Tell him that I love him so much. Tell him that I only ran for my life. Tell him that I'm waiting for him to come. The highest thing they can do to you is find you. And I know Adadima is more important than fine. She told me she didn't run away from you. But she was attacked while lying down in her room. So she ran back to tell her mother. She should have traced me to the farm where I was working. Running back to her people is not the best option. My problem now is that I'm becoming notorious as one who is always fine. And I need to stop that. It is not my intention to influence your decision. But I want you to understand that she's carrying your baby. So make her time and go and see her. She asked me to tell you that she's waiting for you. Mm. Um, Dalurin, hmm? thanks for your information. Chuku right, My husband, what is the matter? You've not been yourself all day. There is nothing wrong with me. I am thinking about the baby. People allege that I was impotent. But you proved them wrong. What you're saying in a nutshell is that you don't share your mother's view. What view? She's complaining that I gave birth to a girl. She told me to my face that she wanted a boy. You know what you must do for me? You must not change. Forget my mother. Concentrate on the baby. I love her so much. And that is all that matters to me. I know people are calling you a bush girl from a bush tribe. But in my eyes, you remain a noble woman. Thank you. Thank you.
do you know we're making a mistake? Running away is not a permanent solution. Yes, I agree. But it has some advantages. When we go out of sight, people we forget what happened. Do you know if we swear that oath, they're going to leave us alone? Yes, they're going to leave us alone. But we are going to die. The allegation is that we, we jointly slept with the youngest wife of the traditional prime minister. And she lured us with her money. She lured us with money. We did exactly what she wanted. We didn't go to her house and, and lure her. She asked us to do what her husband could not do. We assisted her in love. Stay right there. Don't make any move. Sit down. Sit down! How can you ask a man of this kingdom to sit down on the road? I am from this kingdom. I'm traveling to my wife's place, the next village. And you are traveling along this lonely path, alone, with two bars of yam? Yes. How dare you? When has it become a crime that a man will not travel alone with two bars of yam? Guanum, who is this idiot to be talking back at us? So, I know you know. Now, yala. You cannot call me an idiot. Are you mad? I know you know. Ay! 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 I came to see my wife and I was attacked by bandits. They collected the basket of yam I was coming with. not a total waste of time five two bars of yam for just this what exactly do you want hmm? we should have taken the yam to our kingdom do you have sense at all at least we would have kept the yams somewhere sincerely i prefer we keep the yam we cook them and we eat them than this money we realize eventually unfortunately for you your advice is coming very late we have already sold here. Okay, Mkego. That's what we should be talking about now. We too like money. We too like money. <laughs> you don't like money. Mm. Oh, well. Take it, Joe. What do you do? Bring money. I don't know what you are doing. Are you giving me Wait, one one? Relax. What is happening? I cannot see anything. Even I, I cannot see anything. 
Hey, what's going on? Have you, have you seen why? Have you seen why I said we should not have sold the arms? We're supposed to eat them. Just shut up. Hey. Shut up and, and allow me think. What I'm about to say might not go well, but that is the truth. What truth? Do you know the trauma he has caused my daughter? Let's not go into that. He is in love with our daughter and he remains her husband. We cannot refuse not to let a man go with his wife. But he said he was attacked. I've inquired from one of the seers I trust. And he told me that the evil that was sent to hit my daughter is still hanging on a nearby tree. I do not know what that means. But what I know is that if she goes back there, she may be hit. And I don't want to lose my daughter. I have given her an outlet loaded with powers that will protect her from evil attacks. She cannot be hit by any evil. Let us allow her to go. Descendants of warriors should not be afraid of people. They descended on me and collected all I had. It's okay. The most important thing is that you are alive. Those that stole from you have surrendered under your lordship. I can do is to make you see again. Uh, yeah, yes, yes. Uh, please, please help us. Help us. Eh? We, we just went blind and we are, we are ruined without our sight. Please help us. Eh? You enter into this land with the stolen items. Huh? Two of us. Am I talking to trees? Yes. You enter into this land with stolen items. Yes, 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 please, please, yes. Uh, uh, please, just help us. We have already saw the, 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 the yams we collected. Uh, we are only here with the money we realized. Please, help us. And you stole the yam from a man of this land, right? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes. He said he's a man of this kingdom and he's traveling to the next village to meet his wife. We told him that men do not travel alone to pass of yam. And who told you that? Uh, 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 that is the tradition of our people. Uh, yam is the king of crops that must be accompanied always. Huh? Uh, it is not a general tradition. Huh? Mm. In fact, in this our kingdom of Umuawa, mm. it is unknown. You don't force any man of this kingdom to obey your nonsense course tradition. Okay. Eh? Please, we are sorry. Please help us. I don't want Please. to be blind. Please help us. You know what? Yeah. You have to surrender what you stole from a man of this kingdom. Huh? Yes. yes, and the gold of this land will give you back your sides. Yes, is it. Now. Yes, it. Please take and return back our side, please. Yeah? Take, please. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you.
What is the meaning of this murder? Why are you blocking her path? You don't want her to enter her room? I told you to force this man out of your life. He went on his own. You had the ghost to go and look for him. Mother, now listen to me. I went looking for her because she is the wife of my youth. Mm -hmm. I married her with my money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She does not have any connection with this family anymore. So let her go and let her go now. Go! Eh. Yes, let her go. Go! Go! It's not by force. Go! Just go! Go now. Go, go, go. Biko, Biko, my husband. Please spare them. Biko, Nam, Biko. Biko, Z. Biko, please. Please, my love. Come on, enter your room. Enter your room. Oh, who? Oh, who? Me, Munalu. Please, I want this council to decide. He went in search of a woman who left her husband's house without any reason. Knowing fully well that it is a taboo in this our land. Secondly, he wanted to kill me. Mother, you pushed me. Mother, you pushed me to the war. You should be ashamed of yourself that you always bring our matter to the castle of elders. Will you shut up? Uh, uh, uh. How dare you challenge your mother? Uh, Are you normal? You committed an offense when you went in search of your wife that left without a reason. Yes. Are you claiming you don't know? Are you not a man of this land? Listen to me. Mm. As if that is not enough. You attempted to kill somebody in this family. She do what? You are fine. Yes. yes. One ram, one goat, and 21 tubas of yam is your fine. Ah, that that is, is the tradition. What tradition? Tell me what tradition. People who have no regard for culture and human conscience should not hide under the cloak of tradition to, to perpetuate uh, injustice in this land. I'm the son of my father. I know the first rule of justice. You should listen to the other side. You concluded with what my mother said. Don't you think I have something to say? Don't you? Uh, yes, yes, yes. I, I, I think what he said is in order. Yes. You cannot judge a case on the account of only one side. You have to hear the both sides. Wait a minute. That's a lab. That we fish together does not make us age mates. Who gave you the right to contribute anything in this meeting? What? Eh? No, no. You know, did you just Ask me that. Yes. That I, as a lab, should seek an approval before contributing in a meeting. Don't ah. twist this. Don't twist this. I am certain he didn't mean it that way. But then I have to wait for him to present it the way he meant it. What is that? Huh? This man was attacked by bandits and could have been killed. Yes! Are you surprised? No, are you surprised on how I got to know? Listen, I can tell you that I know everything that happens in this land. What is that? Huh? We should be thanking Olisa that saved his life and not placing fines of uh, a goats and rams. How many rams and goats are we going to find a man in his lifetime? No, we can continue finding the men until they die of rams and goats. Yes. Fools like you that die, they cannot use that, their heads. Yes. Why are we not supposed to be finding them? Look at you. You are standing here challenging many cats. <laughs> How dare you?
I salute your courage. Thank you. I salute your determination to stand by your wife during her time of temptation. Remember I told you that I asked the great man to do something to reverse the ugly situation. He finally answered. He finally answered. <laughs> Today, my daughter is a proud mother of a bouncing baby boy. I am happy today because I'm a proud father. Mm. Mm? Mm. Years back, people were mocking me, <coughs> telling me that I'm impotent. And a mother brought you. Bam. Bam. Mother brought you. Kale Chale. Today I'm a proud father. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I should be happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my son. He shall be called Onye Mechi. Onye Mechi. Echi di me walu manazu. It shall be well with him. My people, I present to you Onye Mechi. went into the bush to fetch me firewood. Why are you stunned? You gave me what my heart desires. And automatically, you are the wife of the house. My daughter, you really know the art. You really know how to position yourself under your husband. That was why he was able to inject you with a male child. That bush girl does not know the art at all. <laughs> but she is pregnant again. And one cannot tell when true call Lisa will bless one with a male child. Ne, I am your mother. And I know the act more than you do. I, I want to apologize for everything I have done to you. I, I hereby promise to fetch all the water and firewood you will be using till the child is weaned. You are the mother of the king and I submit to your lordship. Did you just call me mother? I am not your mother. Reproduce like every other normal woman and give my son a child. Then you can open that your cursed mouth and call me mother and I will answer. Well, I am so surprised that you're saying all this. But for the firewood, I am grateful. Thank you. Thank you too. I really can't believe all these are happening to me. Your mother has really changed. You know, 
she apologized to me over her negative attitudes towards me. And as if that was not enough, she went into the bush and fetched me firewood. She said she would continue like that until the child is weaned. My husband. Why are you looking this way? Are you not happy for me? I am not saying I'm against her closeness lately. But you must be very careful. Oh, yes, but I can tell she has changed. Yeah, she told me that I gave birth to a king and she wants to always be there for the child. Those that dine with the devil should always pick their food with a long stick. I am not saying my mother is evil, but I can see it very close. I want you to be very careful. Why are you compounding your own problems? How am I compounding my own problems? Do you even know what you're saying? You should be the one I should be asking. What have you just done? The same woman that came here to marry off your daughter without a man or even a woman of her land finally came here and told you she's no longer interested in your daughter. Idejimba. Idejimba. Why did you refuse to give her back her useless bride price? And why should I do that? After they have messed up my daughter, you want me to accept her just like that? They should come bring back my daughter the same way they took her. Speak the truth, Idejimba. And let the devil be ashamed. Because you are the one that messed yourself up. You are the one that messed yourself up in the manner you married your, your daughter off alone. I want to thank you so very much for recognizing the fact that she is my daughter. And how I decide to marry her off is none of your business. If you don't mind, leave my compound now. What did you just say? I said leave my compound. You know I respect you because somehow I believe you will begin to behave like a normal man of this kingdom. Idejimba, your madness has come to an end. And I am going nowhere. If you know that thing you have, go and bring it. of authority that gets away with everything if you're man enough pull that trigger why are you behaving as if you don't know what i'm talking about mama mama i'm sorry but it is not my fault that i have a girl child children come from olisa shut up shut up you disappointed me completely by the way, why would you bring Olisa into this? Eh? You have been overused by the bushmen in your bush kingdom. That is why you don't know how to position yourself under your husband. Mama, Mama, I am pregnant again. Yeah. I, I, I 
can have a male child this time. Pray harder. Pray harder. Meanwhile, go and pack your things and keep them in a corner. Because if you bring forth another girl, eh, I will throw you back to that your bushland. I don't want more prostitutes in this house. Why are you wasting time? Pull the trigger if you're man enough. You died many years ago. And you are still here roaming around the world, causing confusion for people. I, I am going to end you now. You will experience the last death. refer to my daughter as a prostitute. You are too basic to engage me in such a useless talk. If you ever bring forth a girl in this family again, you will know why they call me Ochi Orambarugo. Nonsense. I already listened to your mother, and I believe her. That woman she got from Umuibide, it remains the worst thing that has happened to you. Hmm. Now that she ran away on her own, I expect you to be happy. Ezolabo, how do you expect me to be happy over this? Are you aware that she left with my unborn child? And that will not be a problem. Your child will come back to you. Do not allow that to disturb you. We bother to ask where she is as we speak. She might be in trouble. That again should not be a problem to you. First is tomorrow morning, we shall consult a seer that will finally confirm to us if she is safe or not. That is the only thing we need to do. Remember what your mother explained as to how she left. She believed that the gods just her away. Do not ever go for her before they will kill you. If you are sure she's planning evil against my daughter, then she must run from the same evil that shall rise. It will happen before all of you in your Abata village. He will surely remember this day. <laughs> I remember something now. Ah! What is it that you remember? Hey! What Could it be that she is a seer? Could this be what she saw? There's a lab. Yeah? You are confusing me the moon. <laughs> Who is this she that you are talking about? Do not do anything stupid. Always remember that you are a great son of a great man of Umuawa Kingdom. Remain here in Abata. I shall be back. to me was mightier than me. I I felt like like I was losing my head. And the only thing that came to my thoughts was to return to my father's house. And that was exactly what I did. Obwefi Udenebona of Umuwa Kingdom is standing by you. 
Can you destroy what I have built? If we feel the neighbor of our kingdom, why are you daring me? You did not just mention that name, Father. Do you know the man? Why if you the born of Umuawa Kingdom? I do not know him one on one, but I know the name. He was my husband's father. But from the story I have gathered already, I heard he was a man of many sides. Why are you telling me about him? Those that told you he was a man of many sides were not far from the truth. Indeed, he was a man of complex sides. And why has he become a topic suddenly? I'm not asking about him. You are not asking. But for the great man that he was, he has metamorphosed into a great spirit. Now, he has hijacked my ministration. Hi hijacked your ministration? How is that even possible? Because he is a great spirit. To be sincere with you, I'm not interested. I'm no longer interested in this process. I beg your pardon. You cannot abandon me now. I have abandoned you already. The power I sent that disappeared was brought back to me by the same man. And I ask you to do the same. I want this woman and her son dead. If you abandon me now, how do I achieve this? If you are not careful, the gun that your father shall pull to kill the great man shall hit you. And you will return home. If this happens, your sorrows shall be so massive that you will seek for where to hide. Or there shall be no place to hide. What is the meaning of this? I ask you, Ichi Okonta, what is the meaning of this? I paid you heavily to do this job and now you are cursing me? Take your anger to your father. He was the one that failed you as a father. Your failure has nothing to do with me. And I give you an advice. Be careful with that gun. Now, now I'm beginning to understand what hits me. Tell me the truth, Father. Was that man here? And did you shoot him with a gun? Why do I have this feeling that the woman I sent to Mowa Kingdom is different from the one that came back to Father, me. I did not come back on my own. I was forced back here. Now I'm beginning to reconcile what Okonta told me before now. With that name you just mentioned. Who is Okonta? And what did he tell you? Do not ask me questions, Father, if you have not answered mine. Was that man here? Did you shoot him with a gun? Why are you asking me to go in search of her when you know the implications of one doing that in this kingdom? My love, there are no implications in one going in search of a woman he loves. The woman in question is your wife. She's giving you a child before. I don't understand you. You and I know how she left this compound. My mother who brought her to this compound says she's sick and tired of her. So why are you disturbing me? My husband. My sweet husband, can you hear yourself? Your mother is sick and tired of her. Why? Because she gave you a girl child? Listen to me, my love. A girl child is as important as a male child. She is your wife. Go in search of her. It is possible that the same spirit that attacked me attacked her too. <laughs> Adadim, why are you being this nice? Hmm? If all the women in this world 
have your kind of heart, this world will be an excellent place to live in. Dimoma, you will not sit here all day and praise me. You will go in search of your wife. Women are all unique in their individual natures. Go. Go and search for your wife, my love. Remember, she is pregnant. She gave you a girl child before. Who knows? She may give you a son this time. Hmm. I am the wife of my youth. I pray to Elisa. In my next life, I will want to marry you again. I will do as you have suggested. Hmm? Let Thank me go. You. Thank you, my love. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? Me, you had this planned out all these years. You suddenly aborted my marriage to Okudili and urgently married me off to Umwawa Kingdom just to satisfy your evil desires. Can you see where it has landed me? Oh, do not cry as if all hope is lost. For I can assure you that nothing has started. You will go back to Umuawa Kingdom and continue living with that man. I need that time to conclude what I have started. Now listen to me, Papa. I am going to make this very clear. If you have anything to conclude in Umuawa Kingdom, start in time to plan on how to do it without me. For I will never return to that compound. Oh, you sound as if you have a lot of options. You do not. For you have already soaked your desperate hands in the evil waters of Okonta. That dreaded man of Umuawa kingdom is ready to sacrifice you to stay alive. And I, your father, remain the only one who can save you. And there's only one way that can happen. Listen to me and obey my instructions. Neka, my child, I am going to ensure that you don't miss your mother. You are a daughter of this family. You deserve all the love in the world. And I will make sure that you get nothing less than all the love in the world. Neka, mom. So, if you know that I was moved in my spirit, to use this road, you would have continued to uh, 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 Instead of an evil woman and the ghost of this land take away out of this kingdom and out of your life. Why are you daring the God? Now listen, listen to me. As a lab, as a lab, I want you to do me a favor. Be very careful with your choice of words. How can you say I'm daring the gods? By setting out on a journey to whom will be there in search of a woman and the gods sets the way. You are daring the gods. Where is this coming from? Where is this coming from? It's a lab. By the way, who told you that the gods chased her away? Uh, we were scheduled to go to see a seer tomorrow. Eh? It will never happen again. In fact, it is cancelled. Tomorrow we shall go to your mother-in-law in Ifitane. She will open the pot of mystery to you. What nonsense pot of mystery are you talking about? Tell you you are in the mess you are in today because you don't know the kind of mother-in-law you have. Just trust me on this. Tomorrow we shall unmask what we are. Are you saying all these things to scare me or what? Why would I want to scare you? I am telling you the ministration that came up today. As we sat before the seer, inquiring into the positions of men of this family. You let husband. Obu if you deliver of home, home, kingdom. He's very angry with you. 
exactly what you said before. And I am wondering why my late husband will be angry with me. Because you undermine his age-long doctrine on patience. Patience and patience. You ran so fast. And you brought in that strange woman who took the name of this family to different places of negative influence. Uh, but luckily for you, the seer has listed all the things you must do that appease your husband. I want to understand what you mean by taking the family name to different places of negative influence. Who are you referring to? I am referring to the strange woman you single-handedly married from whom you be the kingdom. You remember the time when your son's wife was attacked, when she ran away, saying that she was attacked? Of course, she was attacked. She was attacked by your machinery. Yes, she wanted to kill that woman with her unborn child. Fortunately for her, she was saved by the sacrifice her mother made to the of of the Aivitan. That's why she's still alive today. Now, your husband was the one that chased her out of your compound because her cup was full already. You must appease that great man that married you, or he is going to allow them to execute their evil plans on your family. Who are making the plans, and what plans are they making? My friend, Idejimba, I am bothered that your daughter could go this far. To take another person's life is an abomination. Now attempting to kill a pregnant woman is sacrilege. That is even stronger than mere abomination. She must appease the gods of this land and the gods of Umanwa Kingdom to purge herself of this sacrilege, or she will be left at the mercy of the gods. What are you doing? Where are you going? I called you here to seek your advice. And that is exactly what I have just done. You must start immediately to expunge the sacrilege that is hanging around the neck of your daughter. When the gods will rise, they may not spare you. Because you were the one that led the one that went astray. I never bargained for that. All I wanted her to do was to get married into that place, have a child for them, and then I can hijack the family through that son. I don't know where she soiled her hands with blood. Why? You are the one in danger. For you lured the girl into her grave. Why are you not solving your problems? What do you want from me? Go to Umuwa Kingdom. To Abata village. Seek for the man called Iche Ifedema. Tell him what you did. You have two days to do this. What did I do that I have to look for someone to confess? The manipulation that brought you to where you are. Tell him how he started and the role you played. You have two days. Two days. I don't know exactly what you want from me. If you're planning to ask me to forgive you for everything you did to me, don't bother. For I will never, I repeat, I will never forgive you. So, in this your miserable life, you think that someone like me will ever seek your forgiveness? <laughs> So what are you doing here? Oh, oh, you came to see if I survived your attack. Well, go to Umuwa and understand that Masinachi is doing just fine. While you were in my house, you took my family name to different places of negative influence. What were you trying to achieve? I, 
I do not understand what you mean by that. Mm -hmm. When her daddy Ma was pregnant with my grandson, she was attacked. Do you know anything about that attack? Well, I, I was busy in the background before you came. When you are done asking useless questions, you can leave the same way you came. Excuse me. Okonta. Who is Okonta? No. You don't know him, right? Anyway, I shall come back when I must come back. Oh, you sound as if you have a lot of options. You do not, for you have already soaked your desperate hands in the evil waters of Okonta. That dreaded man of Umuwa kingdom is ready to sacrifice you to stay alive. And I, your father, remain the only one who can save you. And there's only one way that can happen. Listen to me and obey my instructions. Why are they all talking about Okonta? Will he ever tell them what we did? Ide Jimba, my friend. The whole thing is becoming complicated. And I do not want to be involved in these complications. There are no complications anywhere, Ozoigwe, my friend. That man that was not properly buried has been conspiring with my enemies to bring shame to me. And I am not going to tolerate that anymore. So, what do you want to do? I am going to cage him. I will cage him in such a way that it will make it impossible for him to appear anywhere ever again. You told me about a man of Abagana who has the capacity to cage evil spirits. Yes. You will take me to him first thing tomorrow. No. No! I will not go with you to anywhere. I won't. I can't believe this. You turned me down in a crucial period like this. And then you call yourself my friend. Idejimba, I am not turning you down. I am actually trying to guide you in the right direction. And that is exactly what I am doing now. Uh, what is that? First. Travel to Umuwa and see that man. There's no need for you to see Ezekitekwa of Abagana. Never. I will never travel to Umuwa kingdom. Never. To go there and make a fool of myself. Listen. If you do not want to help me, then keep your help to yourself. I will find a way to solve my problems. So much for friendship. A man. A fresh art invented firewood should be ready for the visit of lizards. Hmm. Before she attacked you, your mother already had a revelation about a beautiful woman with the face of a he goat laughing at you. My mother already told me that. But I told her that nobody was laughing at me. You see how wrong it can be? Mas Nachi was the evil woman laughing at you. Is that what my mother told you? Your mother was emphatic about it. Mas Nachi was the evil woman. She actually came to bear me a son that would later become evil like her evil father. Her father already perfected the plans to take over this kingdom through that evil child. My husband, I hope you've not allowed my mother to instigate fear in you with her scary revelations. Reasons I don't go to her as often as I should. She must always have one scary thing to say. On the contrary, I am not scared. But I am angry with myself for allowing myself entered that evil woman without consulting a seer. I am angry. 
Now it's possible that that child she left with is that son of mine that will become evil. I was very stupid and she possibly got that child from me. My love, are you in any way saying that you won't go in search of her? <clears throat> Sincerely, I think you should. If not for anything, for the sake of that child. Go to Umuwa Kingdom, to Abata Village. Seek for the man called Iche Ifedemwa. Tell him what you did. You have two days to do this. First, travel to Umuwa and see that man. There is no need for you to see executive part of Abagan. Never! I will never make a mess of my integrity by going to a man to discuss what I did in my secret chamber. I will solve this problem my way. Mother, without any fear of contradiction, you know it yourself that you are the problem we are fixing in this family. You failed to give my wife the time she needed as a wife. Now look at where your lack of patience has landed us. Please, don't just make it the mistake of playing into the hands of our enemies. There is nothing wrong with us. I disagree with you totally, mother, if you say there's nothing wrong with us. Are you aware that the woman you smuggled into my life left with my unborn baby? Uh-huh. How is that a problem? Already I have set a mercenary in motion. Inu Mwibide. As soon as she is delivered of that child, I shall go there and take it. And she will never see that child again. So my son, we don't have any problem. Trust me. My father went to Ichie Ifedema and instructed that you must kneel before his grave with a white cock to appease him for undermining his ex doctrine of patience. I have already done that. And I want you to be rest assured that my husband is not angry with me again. When did you do that? Excuse me? I told you I have done it. Eh? And you're, you don't even believe I did it. And you didn't tell me. I'm excited. This is the best news I have heard in a long while. Father, why would you be excited about this pregnancy? As far as I'm concerned, I don't need this pregnancy. For it will prevent me from getting a suitor that would be interested in me for who I am. Oh, don't talk like a child, my daughter. This pregnancy is more important than 10 suitors put together. Listen, when I asked you to go back to Umuwa Kingdom and wait for time, what I meant was go back there and get pregnant. I didn't even know you were already on. Father, this whole thing doesn't make sense to me at all. I mean, why would a man of Umuwa be there? Be interested in an unwanted pregnancy that belongs to a man of Umuwa Kingdom. There is a seed of dominance that I want to plant in that land. Just pray that this child you're carrying is a son. That will be your hook toward unlocking your future. And what makes you think you have any future to unlock in Umuwa Kingdom? I know that voice. You survived before because I was not prepared for you. What can you do? Shoot me without your useless gun. Show yourself and then see what I can do. Father, are you losing it already? Who are you talking to? Didn't you hear the voice of that fool from Umuwa Kingdom who wanted me to ruin my integrity by going to make a useless confession in his land? 
show yourself now and then know why they call me the Dejimba of whom we be the kingdom. <laughs> Father, 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 She didn't lie. She humbled herself as she was instructed and did exactly what she was told. Because of what she did, she is going to live to see the good days. I am still worried about the woman of whom we be there. My mother seems to have a plan in place. That as soon as she delivers, she will collect the baby. But I don't know how she's going to achieve that. Your wife, Adadima, daughter of Ezewanyi Dawala Guaba of Ifitane, is on the verge of giving you a second son. That should be your concern. Not the woman of whom you be there, that your father is already handling. Is she ever is it my father that told you that my wife will bear me a son? You know, we, we have seers in this land that see. And when we are confused about anything, we ask questions. There was a veil of hopelessness that was covering her all these years that she was unable to conceive. That was exactly what prompted your mother to make the move that she made. Right now, that veil of hopelessness is no longer in existence and you have become a man of great hope. Hmm. I am not going to say much, Ichi Ivedem. <laughs> but if, if it happens the way you said it, that my wife delivers me a son. <laughs> ah. I will slaughter a very big cow. We'll celebrate. Then I want to ask you to get the cow ready. Begin in time to prepare for the celebration because <laughs> it will happen exactly the way it has been revealed. No bargain. Hmm? No you better on. Now I feel like my father used something on me to make me marry the man of Omoa. The way I dumped Okodili and followed that woman cannot be ordinary. I mean, everything is now making sense to me. The only thing I can say is that it's the same man that revealed himself was the one that finally killed your father. I don't know why your father changed. He was an easygoing man who was committed to the progress of the land. And then he changed. And he used me as a tool to achieve his evil desires. He was your father. And he has died. He has been buried. And we must leave him with the gods. So you don't speak ill of the dead. Who cares? Idejimba was a very wicked and selfish man. I feel like exhuming his body and, and killing him myself. Ah! Ah! I saw ah! it coming. You have lost that seed of manipulation from your father. And this is a new beginning for you. The information I got is that she lost the pregnancy. It was supposed to be a sad day, but somehow I'm happy that it happened. My love, I would not want you to say that again. This is an act of rejoicing over another's misfortune, and it is not a good thing. I am not rejoicing over the misfortune. I am rejoicing over my own deliverance. What they planned for me was bad, but my father waged the war for me. I will forever remain grateful for having such a great father. 
Yes, I have a great father-in-law. He waited until we were tired and then he showed himself. Each year, even the mama assured me that the baby you're carrying is a boy. And when he comes out, I say when he comes out, I shall slaughter a very big cow for my people. Why am I a man with a was? Dear Mama, well, I do not have a problem on how you want to celebrate the arrival of your child, but I would have loved this one to be a girl child. <laughs> mm -mm. This one, like the first one, will be a son. Hmm? The third one shall be your own girl. Hmm? The beautiful and dedicated wife my son found for himself. Why did it take me this long to notice? Oh, oh, my lovely children. My lovely, oh, Unyam. <laughs> Mama, eh? Mama, Namo, Namo, what do you give? Oh, Mama, when? Yeah, Ubi, the Quen, yeah, Mama Catano, Ubi, the Catan, never a question, never a question. There is something remarkable that we have experienced in this family in the last couple of years. And that thing is very simple, that the gods and the ancestors of a people are perpetually greater than the people. Look at our son and our brother, Shinu Alamogu. The great son of Oguifu, the neighbor of our own kingdom. The same one that was once referred to as an impotent man is today here to name his second son. <laughs> and I am so sure, based on what we have experienced, that in the future, nobody will ever have reason to move before the gods in anything. King Almogu, please name your son. Oh, his name is Yves Chukudel. May God be praised. May the blessings of this day, the blessings of this occasion, Remain with the entire Umoa kingdom now and forever. Ise! I want you to be my daughter in law. Oh, 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 o